Uh, my name is Joanne Scott and I'm part of the Spark platform for Autodesk. And I talked about how we're trying to enable and open the 3 printing ecosystem with our APIs. So the Spark platform is an open platform of um, software applications that allow people to 3D print, basically. And it's so everything from storage through to preparation, through slicing and sending to printers, either locally or to a, a print bureau. The important thing is they're open APIs so others can use them as well. So if you're developing some software, you can use our tools to improve your software. If you are making a machine, you can use our tools to send designs to your machine. And if you're a service bureau, you can use our tools to get more prints coming your way. It's been really exciting to see how it's pushed the limits of what we can do. So um, there's nothing like users interacting with the API for us to test it and to improve it. And we've also had the, the lucky thing of having NetFab join us recently, so that's really going to help us to go quickly into the industrial space. So what's important to us on the Spark platform is, is that the three pillars, is the software, materials, hardware that make 3D printing work. And so we're really focusing to make sure we work on all three of those pillars to make sure it's a stable network we're putting in place. I think what's important for the space is that we be open to interacting with each other. When we have a closed material or a closed machine or a closed software, we don't see as much growth as if we open up. If other people can create materials for other machines, then we see a, a broader ecosystem, which is what we did with the Ember. That's why we opened it up so material companies can come and play in the space where they were locked out before. When there was no open uh, SLA machines, we didn't see as much material innovation. But now we're seeing companies large and small approach the area and trying to um, see how they can grow the industry. I see two streams happening simultaneously in 3D printing. Uh, on the industrial side, the metal is getting much more complex and, and more mature. And what was the prosumer side, where there was a lot of people doing trinkets, it's starting to become a little bit more professional. So we're, we're seeing the FDM machines become reliable, but we're seeing much more growth in the metal space or electronics or in the industrial work. We've had incredibly positive feedback from open sourcing and opening up the, the Ember platform. Uh, we saw that there, was, there was, wasn't as much material development as we'd like to see in the space. And so by making an open material platform via the Ember, we've seen a lot of new developments starting to happen. We see a lot of people experimenting, we see a lot of schools are very, very happy that they can have um, complete access to the machine, every single level. And now we've open sourced the files, we hope that someone else takes it, improves it, and makes bigger, more, faster versions of it. What's really exciting about the Spark platform is the way it connects to both Autodesk and third-party software. And if you think about what file repair is in 3D printing, it's kind of like spell check after you've finished working on the document. So what we need to do is to bring in that repair and, and simulation back into core design software. So you can expect to see Autodesk software having some 3D printing smarts way up front, not at the end of the, of the chain.